Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. We want to calculate a volume here, so it's a good idea to start off by sketching what we're looking at. So we've got the x-axis coming out of the screen towards us, and um, let's think about this. If we think about what happens when x is 0, well z is 4 minus y squared, so that's really a kind of a an n-shaped parabola, isn't it? So let's just have a look at doing that first of all. So we've got this kind of thing happening here. That should be symmetrical, shouldn't it? And when, what else can we see? What happens when z is zero? z is zero, then we've got four minus x squared minus y squared is zero. So x squared plus y squared is four. So on the x, y plane, we've got a circle, haven't we, this kind of thing going on. So we will also have another kind of parabola coming out here, well, half of one, because we're stopping at um, the z, y plane. So we've got this kind of shape emerging. It's like half a paraboloid, isn't it, this kind of Thing going on. So the important thing really is to think about the uh, points where these cross the axes. So on the z axis that will be going up to 4. Because we've got x squared plus y squared is 4 on the xy plane that's going to be coming out as far as 2 going out as far as negative 2 on the y. Maybe it would also help to have a look at the uh, xy plane. So in the xy plane, we're looking at a semicircle. So we can now start to write down our double integral. Let's start with the inner one. And I think it's going to be easier to have x in the inner integral, isn't it? So that we can just integrate from 0 up to a variable. So let's put that one down first. So we've got x equals 0 up to... Well, let's just write this down. We've got x squared plus y squared equals 2 squared equals 4. So x squared is 4 minus y squared. So x is going to be the square root of 4 minus y squared. And x is positive, so it will be the positive square root. So that's going to go from 4, go up to 4 minus y squared. And then we've just got our z in here that we're integrating. So 4 minus x squared minus y squared dx. So that's the inner integral. And then we've got to integrate that over y going from minus 2 up to 2. So that will be dy. So integrating that we're doing the inner integral first, remember? So we're leaving the y equals minus 2 to 2. And then integrating 4 with respect to x gives us 4x. Integrating x squared gives us x cubed over 3. And then because we are really doing partial integration, remember we're fixing y, we're integrating with respect to x. So x is the variable, y we are considering to be as a constant. So now we're just going to leave the y squared as though it's a constant and multiply it by x. And our limits there, x equals 0 to the square root of 4 minus y squared. And then that, we'll need a dy at the end. So... We will have y equals minus 2 to 2. And what we could do, just to neaten this up a bit, if we take the x outside a bracket, we've got 4 times x, but we've also got minus y squared times x. So we'll have x times 4 minus y squared minus x cubed over 3 between 0 and the square root of 4 minus y squared. That will just make it a bit easier to deal with. So we've still got y equals minus 2 to 2 outside there. And now, substituting in the limits, instead of x, I'm going to have the square root of 4 minus y squared. So we're going to have 4 minus y squared to the power of a half times 4 minus y squared. In other words, that's going to be 4 minus y squared to the 3 over 2. 
So that's because x is 4 minus y squared to the half, and we're multiplying it by 4 minus y squared. And then substituting in the square root of 4 minus y squared and raising it to the power of 3 also gives us 4 minus y squared to the 3 over 2. And that's over 3, isn't it? And then we're integrating that with respect to y. So we've got 4 minus y squared to the 3 over 2 multiplied by 1 minus a third. So in other words, we've got 2 thirds of that. So that's equal to 2 thirds of the integral from minus 2 to 2 of 4 minus y squared to the 3 over 2 dy. So now we've reached a single integral, which is not that straightforward to do, but is possible. But there's actually another way to do this integral. In fact, it really lends itself to using polar coordinates, which will be much, much more simple. So I'll leave you to finish off working this out in terms of y. But what I'll do in the next video is show you how to do the whole question in terms of polar coordinates.